Addy Mulroney. We're a couple firefighters uh, from the outer boroughs, if you don't know. Uh, sometimes yeah. we're from Canarsie, sometimes Ridgewood, sometimes fucking whatever have you. Yeah, whatever have you, and fuck it, Donald Trump's my president, no matter what happens. Fuck that. He's not my, he's not just my friend, my fucking savior. He's my fucking savior, and I just want to do a podcast with, um, some people may think he looks like Jeremiah Watkins, but it's not. This guy, uh, Patty, uh, Sean, I want to tell you, this is my fucking husband. Yeah, we, we... We Hi, Remus Stanley here. Yeah, we Remus Stanley. Ladder 6-9, West Hollywood, California, out here in New York, representing, backing you guys all the way. Yes. Yeah, you know what happens is we got these firefighters have these programs. Now, me and fucking Patty, we went over to Germany and we, do, we drank some beer at the fucking Oktoberfest. Yeah. And then they told us we got to do an exchange program. So they fucking brought this fruit cup from fucking West Hollywood. And we, he's supposed to take us to some fucking museums and we're supposed to drink beers with him. We're supposed to drink beers with this fucking kid. I mean, yeah. I mean, what's up, you fucking Democrat? I put Molly in their beers, and we went out to a couple gay clubs, and it was just a whole experience. It was a whole night. Cuz, can I ask you who you voted for? Oh, Kamala. That's, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let yes. me ask you a question. Let me fucking ask you a question. Okay. Here. Now, this is an honest question. I'm an open book. Yeah, I can tell that. Uh-huh. I mean, fucking first of all, you forgot your shirt. I mean, that's not the fucking dress yeah. code right Oh, no, here. this is our uniform in West Hollywood. That's this it? is actually full uniform right here. Okay, because me and Patty got a fucking question for uh-huh. you. Uh-huh, yeah, shoot. Now, uh-huh. on my chest. Go. You're a firefighter, right? Uh-huh. Like us? Yes, uh-huh. Now, the problem is, when we go to the fire, we go to put the fire out. But how the fuck do you go to the fire and try to put it out when you just bring in more flames to the fucking fire? <laughs> Okay, I see. Because you're I fucking mean. on fire. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, we just kind of go and we just kind of... We just kind of blow at it and we just say, Hey, hey, mister, we've had enough around here. And then usually it just kind of simmers out. Because I got a question. How do you stay so skinny? I wish I had your body. <laughs> you like this? I really do, yeah. I mean, you're a little fucking white. <laughs> but I wish I had your body. I'd I mean, rather be skinny than fat, fat, fat. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Now, when you guys go to put the fucking fire out, yeah. do you use water or do you use fucking cum to put it out? No, all semen. All semen. Yeah. 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 We bottle it up and we actually put it in a hose and we're just like, you know, the white stuff that's like uh, like they use for fire extinguishers and stuff on walls. That's actually cum. Yeah. Where are we going from? Yeah, that's what it is. Now, when, yeah. you, when, you, when, you, when your mother had you when you were little, mm-hmm. instead of using breast milk to put in the bottle, did your father put his cum in there and did you suckle on Let that? Let's say that was the last time I ever saw a pussy. <laughs> Yeah, we knew that. A lot of yeah, we knew that. When you, do you just shit out with the Houston CDs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you're Whitney a- Houston, Evanescence, um, just a lot of a lot of good stuff. Now, let me ask you a question: How did you get? How did you? Why did you want to grow up and be a fire person? Because I, I've, I've just always been attracted to hot things, and 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 just I've wanted to, to, to push myself and just really, really be around. You know, it's a team sport. There's not, yeah. not there's not enough jobs out there that are just team sports. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, because if you touch me like that again, I'll come. <laughs> Character piece. Now, let me ask you this: uh, Are there are there also firemen who work at your firehouse? Yeah, I mean, there's some firemen. There's who, some guys like, there. There's some guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do you need the hook up or what? No, I just wanted to know if it's all fire women like you or is there some guys? There? Oh, you're calling me a fire woman? Yes, a fire queen. I'm just yes. saying. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we there's over here ladder fourteen. You know, we you know we only got like one, two, three uh, uh, women, but we don't really have any fucking fruit cups in the fire. Any fucking fruit cups at all? But except no, nobody's yeah. out in the open. I mean, this kid's Let's fucking say, on fire. I need a fire hose just to fucking do this interview. I mean, I'm a fruit pint because there's two cups in a pint. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's what it is, guys. Yeah. So um. So yeah. So 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 wait. So you were telling me about that you you got a husband. His name's Jeremiah Watkins. And what's he doing? What's he what's he got going on? Oh, I love him. He's got a uh, a new special coming out on December eighth. Um, and you can actually pre- pre-order it now on his website, JeremiahWatkins.com. Wow. It's, it's, it's his first one hour special. So he's really excited. He's out in New York, just trying to you know get the word out there and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I got a question now, for you. Yeah. Now, do you think? Yeah. Okay. So uh-huh. Jeremiah, why doesn't Jeremiah Watkins ever do Joe Rogan? <laughs> <laughs> or I mean, fucking Coco Diaz. Or Coco Diaz. I mean, this guy's fucking on every. every I everybody mean, has him on Kill Tony. Why doesn't Jeremiah Watkins get on the big this show? This will literally do anything, and I don't know why he hasn't been on there yet. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, fucking. Does this kid got to dress up like a fucking flamer? I mean, what the show? How funny does a kid got to fucking be to go on your fucking show? I mean, God forbid you had <laughs> twice on there. 
I'm like, <laughs> Joe Rogan, you don't, want, you don't want some of this? I mean, <laughs> we're it's ready. what it is. I mean, put this kid on Saturday Night Live. I mean, look at this fucking guy. Now, let me ask you a question. When you're in the fucking fire, because, you know, we're doing this exchange program. We're learning a lot of culture here. So when we're in the firehouse here on the nights when we don't have fire, we usually sit around watching Departed for like the forty seventh time. Yeah, you know, fucking cook up some chicken franchise. Patty sure. likes to fucking he likes to do French fries. He's good with that. Sure. And <laughs> how about you on the fucking nights when you guys are cooking? What are you doing? You doing German sausages and fucking Mar- watching Mariah Carey's movie? Uh, we play a lot of Spin the Bottle. We play a lot of Sorry, the board game, and Don't Wake Daddy. Have you played Don't Wake Daddy? No. Ooh, classic board game. Milton Bradley. Got to look it up. Now listen, you must have a lot of work over there in Los Angeles because of West Hollywood because it's always on fire and there's a lot of gays. There's so many riots going on and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah there's, there's been a lot of work for us Now we A lot of times we get called and they ask us to take a couple of fucking cats out of a tree. Have you ever had to pull a G.I. Joe figure out of this guy's ass? Yeah. I mean, the stuff that you would that the, the, these guys come into West Hollywood with it's just rammed up their 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 um, their butt putsy. It's just so much stuff. Yeah. I mean, really, it's really fascinating. Like, one time I found a full, full Marilyn Manson catalog shoved up there. Wow. A six-set DVD. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. No, Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Who the fuck's that? That's the fucking guy that, that killed, that went and killed everybody. And that's not even big in our culture. That's not oh, even that's, big. Oh, you talk about Charlie Manson? No, it's Marilyn like Manson's a woman, no? Yeah, you talk about that fucking woman, Marilyn Manson. It's a guy who, did it's a guy who Colum- removed some ribs so he could... Oh, I thought there was a woman this whole I thought, time. I thought that was a fucking girl. Hey, would time. you would Holy you remove shit, I a rib? Jerked off to that guy a few times. What it is? Yeah. Now let's how about beautiful this? people. How about just in the middle of the podcast? Let's switch characters and just be ourselves, but keep the costumes on. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, <laughs> welcome back. What's up, Jeremiah? How you doing, guy? Honestly, <laughs> I was wondering when we were gonna switch. I was wondering when we were gonna. Yeah, cause yeah I was wondering when it's we hard were... for you to get out of character wearing that. I mean, it is. Yeah, I'm still... you look like someone just raped Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> they finally found him. Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's what happens, guy. So, Bubba's, you're finally in fucking New York City I'm the night before here. the election, even though it's going to come out in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Your wife and unborn child are on the West Coast, which yep. they're fucking surrounded by Democrats, so they should be safe. Yep. Welcome, should be, Jeremiah. Should be good. Of course, Jeremiah Wonders Podcast, favorite on the hyenas. Oh, big time re- favorite. Return guest. Our episode with you was a fucking banger. Banger. You got a special coming out. You did it all yourself. Now, tell us all about it. <laughs> so, shot in Kansas City at a club called the Comedy Club of Kansas City. Kansas City, a place, uh, Kansas or Missouri, is this, uh, a place that's mostly white and votes mm-hmm. to the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. <laughs> that's about, that should be, that should be on a postcard with Kansas white City. White to the white right. White to the right. That's how we lean. You know so, what I mean? So, what club did you do it on in Kansas City? So, the Comedy Club of Kansas City. I shot a weekend of shows there, and the premise behind it, like the concept is uh, my family, they sat. At, like right in the front row areas on the right and the left side. Okay. So my right side was my mom and her new husband and friends. And then on the left side was my dad and his new wife. <laughs> so I'm in between. I'm literally in between family on both sides. And I I talk about them in my act and stuff. And it was just super awkward. So I have meltdowns throughout the hour. And I, I comment on it as it's kind of like the through line. And then we, I did like some interviews with my family and stuff. And that's, that's amazing. It's called family reunion. Did so. you do it during COVID or pre-COVID? Pre-COVID, so December of 2019. Well, I just made it. Yeah. Is so, it all stand-up or you do characters and stuff? Uh, all stand-up. I do, yeah. like, characters, like, within it, but it's all, like, in the stand-up form. So yeah. no, you, you won't see that. You won't Did see your that mom or that. dad have an issue with anything, or was it all good? They were, they're pretty chill for the most part. I ended up bringing my mom up on stage because she was heckling uh, me right. at, at some points of the, the special. Is it, isn't Dude. your dad, like, a pastor or something like that? Where, he, he's he's, a, he's a, a missionary's kid. Oh, he yeah. was a missionary. He was kid. a missionary's kid. Fucking freak, right? He grew up in the Cayman Islands. Holy! So does he, does he have an accent? Shit, your dad? <laughs> yeah, this is how he, he raised me. He's like Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, the can't no because that's funny when like white guys are just on the fucking those islands. Yeah, they. Co- I mean, like, they were yeah they're yeah. they're only the only white people on the island. But you were born in Kansas. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. There you go. So, all right. Well, that's a fucking actually crazy interesting idea. Here's the thing for a special man. Yeah, it is. But I tell I'm you, I'm gonna what. buy it. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Amazon Prime. 
you inviting your family to your shows is like a it's nightmare. the most he stressful does, thing. You do it all the time. And I, but I, I regret. I, I was supposed to have a special in Chicago uh, before COVID and before Comedy Central took everything away from me, and they collapsed and they took it all away from me. But I was supposed to be doing a special in Chicago, and I purposely wasn't going to tell my family the dates and purposely want to do it in Chicago, just so even though I have a very supportive, loving family and I'm appreciative of them. When, when, when. You know, people listening that want to do stand up or like fans of comedy. When your family, at least for me, and I'm sure it's for you, Jeremiah, as well, when your family's in the audience, my whole set changes, my whole mindset changes, my anxiety is up so much more because you know you're just being judged by them. Yep. Even if they're not outwardly doing it, you feel it. And I do not want the best case for me is nobody that I know is in the crowd, only fans that I have never met on a personal level or don't know from the time before I did comedy. That's what it is because. Family, it's a fucking nightmare when they're at the show. But Jeremiah walked right into it, which is an amazing idea yeah. for a special. You, it's kind of make it's a unique thing that it's part of your yeah, special. Yeah, very like I mean, you you'll see. I I riff on it and stuff throughout the. I even do like I, I do like some incest jokes and stuff like that while my family is in the audience. So that you know, there's just like weird layers of that with them. Did any of it, bo- it? Did any of it not bomb? But did any of it make like you get any reactions of your of your? Yeah, nice. That was a that was a Yanni Papas fart. That oh. was that was Yanni Biden. Yeah, and but, but, yeah. <laughs> well, he, he sounds like you just shit out a condom. I mean, this guy he, he goes shit your pants. What was bit. that? I think he just shit his pants. No, I think he shit his Man, pants. That sounded like a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, and dude, there was something in his ass. He goes really into character. I go deep. I stuck dick for six this weeks is- leading up to this gig. <laughs> for this moment, can you imagine being Benetia's parents? So, how was work today? She's like, well, uh, Jeremiah came in. He did a little gay fireman character uh, from West yeah. Hollywood, and then they farted in microphones. Yeah. And then Joey Coco Diaz talked about how Kavanaugh didn't rape that girl. It was yeah. a pretty good yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah came in, he did a whole gay character, shit his pants. Joey Coco Diaz <laughs> called people. Yeah. Uh, Chris <laughs> did a whole episode about how he's voting for Trump. Um, so it's been good. Who wants. Who wants cookies? Yeah. Oh, mom, I forgot. We The only problem was we just didn't have a t shirt size to give to Jeremiah. But other than that. It was pretty good. Pretty good day. Yeah. Pretty good day overall. Pretty good day. It at was work. pretty good. Yeah. I kept my mask on the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got a wild job, but it's fun. It's 2020. Fucking yas. Yas. It's just good to be making any money. Now, Jeremiah, you got a lot of fucking talent. I mean, the kid is fucking talented. There's no way you can get I would around. go into fires like this. I mean, because make no mistake, if you come into a fire, if you go into a firehouse, if your house is on fire, and a fireman comes in with his fucking helmet like this, and Jordans, you know one thing and one thing only? That fireman's black. <laughs> Not a 14. <laughs> ah, he's got his head on backwards, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, you know you look like, like, did you play, when you played baseball with Puerto Ricans, that's how they wore their hats. They wore their hats like they this. They wore their yeah. hats like that. Yep. Puerto Ricans yeah. love to wear their hats like that. Puerto Ricans just do and that's why they're so good at baseball, because they really play most of their life not seeing the ball at all. They're playing blind. They play blind. Now you're a kid with a, just a lot of fucking talent, Jeremiah. Uh, you do no, real serious talent. Con- like Why isn't he on SNL? He should be on SNL. He's also he's also cut, dude. He's got a swimmer's body. Look at this. He's fu- I, so what? Do you eat a healthy, wealthy Terry diet? Terry Crews, watch out, dude. Yeah. Watch out, dude. No, you they like call me Jerry body. Jews. Do you <laughs> do you eat a healthy, wealthy diet? Um, uh, my wife has me eat like vegetables and fruit and stuff like every during day. the week. She like I try to eat some kind of fruit every day. Right. That that's the goal. But when I'm on the road, I eat like just whatever. What about drinking booze? Or you don't booze at all? Not at all. Zero. Zero. Zero alcohol. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's so I drink a lot of water. I drink a ton of water, which uh, I that's think the that, only beverage you drink. You don't drink anything else. Uh, maybe on the weekends I'll do like a pop or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> we for, call it pop in the Midwest. Right. Right. So for right. the most part, though, it's water during the week, Monday to Friday. Your diet is fucking great. Uh, it's it's all right. It's a, it's it's pretty good during the week. Now, yeah, how's it been? I don't know I've why gained, I feel I've like putting the suspenders pounds. on like is like putting a shirt on. Like, yeah, like, it's like, oh, okay, it's it's less yeah. awkward. I'm yeah. like, yeah, come on, dude, put some clothes. Hey, on. Go, you put that oh, over okay. your nipples. Right, just I'm gonna take it <laughs> real, real quick. How yeah. long have you been married for now? Ah, uh, three years. I mean, yeah, been with her for over ten years though. Gay, wow. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One vagina for that long. <laughs> gay, gay, gay. <laughs> gay boys, straight up gay, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I took my wedding ring off for the gay character, and then I put it back on for <laughs> afterwards. One thing about Jeremiah is, you know, he's a fucking loyal kid. This kid, he's a good kid. Oh, Jeremiah yeah. is just a good kid. If loyal. you if you uh, if you follow Jeremiah, if you don't, you should. 
All, he does all this funny stuff, character stuff, character stuff. And then there was this one day, <laughs> I and I just can't. I watched it over and over again because it was because he's never like like earnest, you know. Like right. he's always yeah. joking around and funny and shit. And then there's this one video. He just he wanted to fucking let the world know about his love for his wife. Yeah. So <laughs> he did. <laughs> So it's funny you're seeing like video of him going like you know doing a crazy character another fucking crazy and then you're just a, and then out of nowhere there's just like him at a keyboard, fucking totally like serious musician, just singing an original song about the love for his wife. His yep. fucking wife. And it's it's a good song. He's talent. He can do that too. He can fucking play the instrument. You're seeing talent, but it was just funny to watch him be serious. Yeah. And then I got to admit. Louis J. Gomez. Oh, dude. It's so funny, It's so dude. funny what he it's did. It's so funny. What happened? Louis J. Gomez did a spoof song. <laughs> He's like, I am a... Yeah! <laughs> Can we pull it up? Can we pull it up somewhere? I mean, because Binky shaped up his fucking beard. I mean, fucking Binky looks like a human being right Binky now. Binky finally looks like you... I mean, Binky looks like... You look like a conquistador. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Netflix, they shaped it up for you? They shaped it? Wow. Really? Yeah. Dude, it looks good. Looks real You're strong. You're a fucking handsome kid, son. Yeah. Um, That's funny, dude. I mean, so it was just funny to see Jeremiah looking at the camera. Oh, like, yeah. Serious? Yeah. yeah. Like an R&B singer? Like going, just, just going for it. it. I, I got to find it. It's, is it on your Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, Jeremiah, yeah. And then the other one's on Lewis's. I got to see, dude. And, Je dude, Jeremiah is one of those guys where it's like, even like, he just does things for the love of comedy. Like, you did a thing that you, you messaged me the other, uh, a couple of weeks ago about, about Dan Soder's piece. Oh, yeah. We were talking about Dan Soder's dick. I'm like, Jeremiah will just do things that, like, makes a comic look good at funny moments just because I feel like he's the guy that just, more than anything, just wants the, cr the people to succeed. Yeah. He's, you're, he's, got, he's got that energy where he, it's not like there's no negative energy. I could never see him mind. being bitter about somebody getting something. Oh, dude, no. I'm always, I never get that. When comics are like, dude, this, well, what about me? It's like, dude, you make your own thing. Like, yeah, like be, all... be stoked for somebody else that got something. That's a, yeah. yeah, dude. It doesn't no. take anything out of your, we're going we're gonna to try to find it's this. We're going we're gonna to play this. It's we on got... my YouTube as well. It's on, it might be easier to find on my YouTube because yeah. it's pretty deep in the feed it's at this funny. point. Oh, wait, there's the ladder 6 9 You can watch it on if you go to Jeremiah, what is it? Jeremiah stand Jeremiah up? stand up on Instagram. Yeah. Maybe. What, did somebody have fucking Jeremiah Wonders or Jeremiah? No, I wanted people, because I do so many things, I, I want people at the end of the day to know, like, I'm a stand up. Like, I do a lot of characters, I do music stuff, but, like, that's what I do every night of the week. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. yeah because that, that's, that's, it's interesting you say that because that sometimes is a problem with being as talented as you are, as you do so many things. You're like, how do I funnel my audience into the one thing? Right. Type in, I need. <laughs> I need you. Uh, <laughs> I need you by Jeremiah Watkins. Now, what ten ten. Yeah, what happened? Oh, there we go. There we yeah. go. So, so this wait, is pause, this is for pause. real. This is earnest. This is, now, what was this? This was this was Valentine's Day or your anniversary? What no, was it? none of that. What, what, none it was just that. out of the blue. Sometimes, <laughs> look at in his face. He's fucking serious. Dude. I, I go for it. I go for it. Dude. He goes so for it, dude. I, this like you, here's the thing. COVID does different things to everybody yeah. and this was what it did to me it put me in a, a, a musician mindset and I and it really made me explore my emotions the emotional side of myself and I'm like I'm gonna put out this song right. let people see a different side of me it's something that my wife was even surprised that she like she saw and she's like oh yeah you're gay yeah, yeah. so no. we're gonna we're gonna listen to a couple <laughs> we're gonna listen to a little bit of this and then we're gonna go to Gomez how long for your woman brings the caress of your face Dude, you can't make a song like this without warning your comedian friends. Yeah. You can't just put this I out there. Did you see it and you were dying yeah. laughing? <laughs> Dude, when I saw this, I watched it a hundred times. When he looks up is where it gets me. Get ready. The <laughs> review. <laughs> I need you. It's a good fucking song. Chris is just, he's from a place and he's just this type of kid. When he sees you open his mouth and he's watching this, he just wants to shove a dick in it. Yeah, it's just what it is. <laughs> I'm just the kind of kid as I like this kind of music because it sounds like the 1975. <laughs> 
Now, did you did you plan to put on a button down for this and like make it official like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I put thought into it, which was funny, like because the 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 version that Lewis did. Yeah, let's he, see Lewis go. Yeah, this is out. This I, is Lewis's. I wonder. I think he only posted on his Instagram. <laughs> Since the moment we locked eyes, I knew that you like guys. You fuck men. You long for the warm embrace, the jizz across your face. Fuck you, bro. And fuck God, he put you here. Holy shit, you queer. And I don't know. Why you put out this video? I, I hate you and everything you do. And I, I hate you. Please kill yourself, my dude. Um, how, how long ago was that? Did you po when did you post the video? That was a few months ago. Uh, but you, you know what is interesting is when I put something out where it gets that much talk, dude, I, that video, more people have hit me up about that. Been like, I was going to say, you inadvertently made the funniest video of your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know, a lot of it is you. A lot of it is because, like, all the other videos are funny. Oh, yeah. And then out of the blue... I almost thought I was like looking for the joke. Dude, I was people actually reading, waited for the, joke. the entire yeah. time. They're waiting for the turn. And then like, that's kind of the funniest part of the whole thing is like, there is no turn. So the joke is them being like, oh, he just wrote a, he, he just, just wrote a song. Wrote a Do song you know which one it could be? Holy Do you know thumbnail clear. which one this could be? Yeah. I just, yeah, no, he, saw it, it's, I, it's, yeah. it's, 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 uh, it might be the black. I don't know if it's the black. Uh, oh, and I don't know. I'm going to do his covers. Why you put out know. this video? It's probably on Reddit, right? I, like this Jake yeah, if you did, I like, hate you. Jake yeah. Jeremiah song. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's so funny. It's dude. great. Dude, yeah. Because Lewis and uh, Jeremiah had a slap box contest. Yep. A match where Jeremiah, like, really whooped his ass. Yeah. Because he's got that, you got that reach <sighs> advantage on him. And I yeah. saw him struggling. Had, did you see the it. version of. So a fan put yes. the version of my song versus me slapping him, yes. and it, oh, like, a ma like a like a mashup, and yes. it's 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 pretty beautiful. Well, dude, because the, the thing the thing with Jeremiah that's great is you can just you're a guy like you're great at going along with the bit, like you know what I mean. I'll like, lean into it. I'll go. for All it. we got to do is fucking lean into it. That's why I like you know you know that's why sometimes with our comedy peers now it's like we're getting canceled by our own comedians. It's like what the fuck is that? No, yeah, yeah. no. This is like. Could you imagine, like, you know, some other type of comedian? You just fucking made fun of them and started singing that they were the uh, fucking Faji. Fuck you, bro. And fuck God, he put you here. Holy shit, you queer. Oh my God. You, yeah. you, you are, are gay. gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get a blowy after that, though? Uh, the wife? I mean, my wife liked it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You, I had multiple guys hit me up that, that were like, dude, I played this song for, for my girl and I got laid because of it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, sweet. Well, dude, let me, let me ask you this. Are you going to, once the baby's born, are you going to be the type of parent that posts your baby on social media or will not post your baby? <sighs> if you have to guess right now. I will be selective. Right. Uh, I don't want to do, I don't want to post a lot because I post a lot in general, just too much in general. Um, so I don't want to do that like with my right. kid. You know what I mean? I know mean? that you never, you never really post your wife. Like you keep your, you I keep, keep it, your private my personal life. stuff pretty, pretty separate. And yeah. she doesn't care. She's not like, Hey, why don't people know about me? Post about me. She doesn't, she's doesn't. no, she's not like that. That's yeah. amazing because yeah. it's, she the, gets it. I mean, it's the worst when you, I'm fucking, when it's like, they want to be part. It's like, what, what do you want me to fucking do? I have to post about you now all the time. It's like, if girls are going to DM me, they're going to DM me. It's, character piece well that's the thing <laughs> she, she wanted to at some point she's like she's like can i see your dms i was like i will not show you those I, like i i like yeah, because it's a lot of it is fucking guy a lot of it's crazy shit i'm also not interacting with it either so i'm like there's nothing for you to see i don't respond so i don't want you to know about this the the, the stuff, stuff yeah. yeah there's no there's no point there's nothing to gain from right this. yeah there's nothing to gain exactly it's only things that could be taken out of context you know 
It's like, you know, it's like if a girl sends you a, uh, sends me a video of her sticking, you know, wrapping one of our History of Hyenas t-shirts on a dildo and stuffing up her ass. It's like, I'm going to heart that, but I'm not interacting. No, it just gets a quick heart. It just, gets a quick just heart. It gets a quick double quick tap, heart. and then quick you heart. move on. I mean, you, Is, you, am you, I wrong? You just, you know, you, you double tap, double tap no and then it's, I'm gone forever. Let, I delete it. It's Let no them know deal. that you appreciate the work. Move on. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I say thanks for the support. I'll be in Philadelphia, yeah. November 19, 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit up on Patreon. Uh, yeah, I'll say <laughs> Snapchat CTTV, and then we move on. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? <laughs> when I was in, uh, I went, I think I was in Turkey looking at some of the old. You fucking Sandy. <laughs> 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 and we were uh, we were looking at some old Roman ruins, yeah. And in this old, you know, Roman uh, whatever outpost or whatever, they had a uh, brothel. They, they, the tour guide told us this whole story about right. how the guys would sneak away from their wives, and they had like these like penis arrows, hidden penis arrows that were still there, still there. Yeah. That's sick. And it was like there was underground tunnels to get there. It's just funny to think that that even back then, like guys were like trying to sneak behind their wife's back and do shit. Just regular... They were just regular life guys back then. Yeah, it's yeah. just... And there was no way you were going to get caught was, cheating back then. It was probably like a whole guy's life, uh, part of the guy's life, where like some woman followed him, found the secret passage, then they yeah. had to fucking change it. Yeah. It's like all we hear about is like emperors and stuff like that. But like Romans had regular lives. Like regular they lives. They fucking hummus sandwiches. And they probably had a version of like a radio show that we're doing. Yeah. And they're just like forgotten by history because they weren't Nero, you know? Yeah. No, I agree, dude. Would what? you have fought a lion back in the day? Huh? Would you, would you have been in the Colosseum? Would you have been fighting lions and stuff? I think I think um, I would have risen up to be emperor. I think that would have been something. I agree. Because when I, when I saw that you could have a harem... That would have been my goal back then. Yeah, and I, I think like that would that's like rock star status having your own harem. Yeah, you know. And if for me and my job would be because he would be the emperor and I'd be like his first hand man. My job would be is to just make sure that emperor emperor Giannis Papouas has women's feet at all times for him to suck on, or else he gets angry and people are going to die. <laughs> Unfortunately, villages would get burned on fire if I didn't bring him a fresh. 23 year old girl's foot to just Where put is in his my mouth. feet? I need the feet. <laughs> he yeah. needs to, he plugs them up like lollipops, and that's just what Emperor fucking Yanni Poo Poo does. I uh I think I would I think I would be a just ruler, but there would be a dark side. For every ruler who's just successful, like Trajan, Queen Elizabeth, you know, t- successful rules, I think there's a dark side that doesn't make the history books, and I would need to yeah. be, be fed. Unfortunately, there'd be a family that would lose. They would lose a girl to my harem yeah. every week, probably. That's what maybe we a couple have, days. We maybe have a, daily. Maybe we, daily. We have a saying on the show, if a girl's really hot, like a smoke show, we just say she's for Rome. Or we, or our fans will write Rome. And that means, that comes from we had spoken about if Giannis was ever emperor, he would take, he would order me and Binky, we would have to take women that he liked in the village for Rome. They're the property of Rome. And we would pay the family. But unfortunately, as an emperor, have a harem of women that he likes and, and for Rome. And they'd just be on the line. They'd just be legal. Wait, what are you saying we'd pay the family? You just made a policy decision without consulting the Oh, emperor. I guess we're not going to pay the family the at all. Family, no. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, it's then, for Rome. You're doing a duty for Rome. Yeah, we're not going to pay the family it's, then. You're doing a service. <laughs> I Fuck the family. I get anybody. No, we're no, taking like, your hottest daughter. We're not paying the family. You know, and we're going to take all the shoes, too. <laughs> and you'll kiss the ring of Yanis Papas. Yeah, yeah, because it's just what it is. It's just what it is if, if you know. What do you think if you were Emperor Jeremiah? What would, you, what would your rule be like? Would you be? Are you too nice a guy to rule? He's a nice kid. He's a I Christian might be too, kid. I might be too nice to rule, I man. So. I might be too nice. Yeah, you would I mean, get you killed. And Chris, you and Chrissy's rules would be a fucking disaster. Yeah, be a disaster. I mean, yeah, because we'd be going. They'd be to too conditional. They'd be too conditional. Wait, wait let me see. Because yeah. you had a funny text about if we were ruling, but I'll fucking edit it. Hold on, let me yeah. see. Because you had a fucking ten out of ten. Chrissy would just say he says yes to everything, so they'd be like, hey, should, they'd be like, hey, the vandals are the vandals are at the border. Should we let them invade? Chrissy would be like, yeah, they're probably nice guys. Yeah, no big deal. Let how long are they staying for? How long are they staying? No yeah. big deal. I mean, it's a 10 out of 10 text. I'm going to read it. And if we can edit it, we want. Yeah, I, said, I, 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 I said to Giannis, I said, I said, why am I even allowed to vote? And then Giannis says, yeah, if you look at the thousand years plus of Rome, democracy doesn't 
doesn't and can't last. I mean, Queen Elizabeth, probably most successful ruler in modern times, and she was dictator, so maybe it's just what we agates deserve. Schultz's rule would be fierce and people would fear him. Tim has appetites and he'd manipulate and blackmail. He'd yell at people but would not murder. He cares too much. You would be loved, but that would lead to absolute chaos eventually, and you'd be beaten to death by feminist anarchists. <laughs> but I would come in and save you from death by talking to cuck and tricking them. I'm talking I'm, cuck to them. Talking cuck to them and tricking them. I'm good at emergencies. I'd gain rule, and you would know as long as I had one or two girls of my take it from family with decent feet to munch on. I'd be measured and firm, and I would rule for 50 years in Pax America. I would have people executed, but nobody would miss who I executed. <laughs> Binky would be executed for body shape. <laughs> make, yeah, make zero, make zero mistake. I would have Aram and Clee what I wanted. And I said, we should do a modern day Rome sketch. And then he never wrote back. Oh, and then I said, and cuz listen to me. You listen to me good. I am fat, fat, fat waiting at 243 this morning. And then I did I say Venetia also would be she would she would have be cleaning for a German family. You say, yeah, you'd be cleaning, yeah, yeah. cleaning for a, a, a German, but I can't say that part because so she'd be cleaning for a certain type of Yeah, she'd be cleaning for a certain type of person who's for a certain part of the world. Yeah. You missed a spot over there, it's a yeah. little dusty. <laughs> Uh, come here, village girl. Excuse me, over here, child. Um, I need you to clean out the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that would be, uh, I think I would rule justly, but it would, there would be a dark side. I think Timmy would have have appetites and steak and things like that, and he would actually be manipulated because people would give him pl like the pleasurable things he likes, and then they would be able to take him down. Yeah. Schultz would be a little too heavy-handed. He'd murder too many people. Yeah. And he'd create too many enemies. Just get one attack. Here we down. go. Here's here's fucking Barney Rubble. As I'm checking text, just text me. Hey, I was walking and my glasses fogged up, so I took them off. At that point, a bug flew into my eye and scratched my cornea. They gave me eye drops. Should clear up in three to four days. If not, I need to go to an ophthalmology doctor. It's like, Dad, just you. You need money. I'll give you money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Don't bring corneas into this. Yeah. Because you've been betting? Of course. I've, look, gambling's now legal countrywide. Right. If you're going to do it, do it the easy way. Go with the most reliable. You go to my bookie. You're probably at my bookie already because that's the way you gamble. Yeah. My bookie. My bookie. Here's the deal, though. This is how you gamble as one of our fans. You First of all, you go to my bookie and you put in the promo code hyenas. H-Y-E-N-A-S, the promo code hyenas, and guess what? You are going to get uh, uh, a halfway match on your deposit. So if you put in $200, they're going to spot you another 100 to play with. I mean, because it's halfway. They're going to spot you halfway. They matching what you put in. You go to mybookie.com, promo code, promo code hyenas, gamble away. Seriously, please use the promo code. Go to my bookie. I mean, even if you, even whether you like to gamble or don't like to gamble, I mean, what other site's going to give you half of the money you put up up to two hundred dollars? So if you put in two hundred, they'll give you hundred. I mean, it's unbelievable. You put in a hundred, they'll give you fifty. I mean, because you do. I'm not good at math, but that's right math, right? Yes, and yeah, if you're a hyenas fan, there's no other way to do it. Put in the promo code hyenas, and they take care of you that way. Because look, we're a couple of guys that come see you. And we don't see it a different way. We take care of you. We take care of you. And it's anything you want. UFC, presidential prop bets, any major sport, whatever you want, babe. They got you. My bookie's got you covered. MyBookie.com, promo code hyenas. Do it. Do it. It's Thanksgiving. Go bet on those games, y'all. Yes. All right, as always, we're brought to you by Tim Dillon's Belly Hair. I mean, this kid, he's got, he auctioned the tier and he won the tier. Um, he's got a fantastic charity, truly fantastic. Giannis and I, uh, and everyone at the Hyenas have donated our, our money towards it because it goes to a great cause. It's a charity in Ghana, Africa that rescues children from child slavery and gives them a safe place to heal, grow up with an education. The website to donate is touchalifekids.org. That's touchalifekids.org, brought to you by Tim Dillon's Belly Hair. Now, does, do you have a parent with a gambling problem? A parent with a gambling problem? <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, the best here at the Hyenas, we have at least one parent who has a gambling problem. Yeah, we, we all have there's something about our our parents that we all have something's a little off about all our parents yeah, yeah, yeah. on this show. Yeah, for you to have become a comedian, there's got to be something off in your family. Sure. What me and Chris Pinky's are saying. Pinky's dad's got no spine. He's, yeah, he's he broke no every bone in his spine. back. Yeah, I mean. He's a jellyfish. Pinky will tell you he's from Queens one day. He'll tell you he's from Lebanon the next. We just nod. Yeah, Giannis's father's gay and, 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 dead and died and came back to life about four times. My dad's got a gay 
gambling issue. Yeah. And Venetia's parents, we don't know anything about Venetia's parents. We just know she does. He, they don't really appreciate her friends. Yeah, they, we just know that they don't really know exactly her whole life, what she's doing, yeah. because there's a lot of friends she, they wouldn't yeah. approve of. Unfortunately, the truth of the situation is Venetia is dating a black woman, and it's tough for her father to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough for a bro- father as well. It's tough for brothers to even understand. Yeah, what we call that in the Greek household is a double whammy. Yeah, let's just be honest. <laughs> Her brothers were nice to us when we bought them pizza, but they don't really appreciate or approve the fact that this is her job. It's a job, yeah. Now, shout you, out to shout out to the bro- Venetia's brothers. Shout out Great to the kids. brothers. Yeah, the nice one. You owe us about eighty dollars for fucking coming here yeah. on a family dinner. Yeah, I mean, you fucking ate pizza for free. <laughs> You're not on a company card. Now, I'm kidding. You're, you, you're a nice guy. You got the family. You Jeremiah's invite, the nicest guy. You invited them to your fucking show, but me and Chrissy know we're a couple of street smart New Yorkers. We know there's something fucked up in your family. So the question is, did someone in your family kill somebody, and are they your bones hidden in the basement? Yeah. No. There, there's a lot of, like, like family issue. Well, main thing is alcohol. Alcohol is the main issue got it. in my family. So you That's like, at the top of the list. So that's why you don't drink. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Soda, same thing. Alcohol. Yeah, they don't drink. Yep. All right. Yeah. Nate, 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 no good on alcohol. You ever been around Nate on alcohol? He's sober. He's sober now, yeah. He's sober now, there's yeah. A, whenever there's he, somebody sober, there's a story. He used to love to party. Oh, oh he used to love oh, yeah. to party. Yeah, yeah. If 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 audio recordings and people were secretly audio recording on their phones back when Nate was drinking, he would not have a career. No, he would have a <laughs> zero career. It's what it is. Now, Jeremiah, on the show, we always do a fuck, marry, kill. Um, so here, fuck, marry, kill, Adolf Hitler, Joseph Goebbels, and Frank. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the middle? Who, who's the middle one? I Joseph don't know. Joseph Goebbels. I need is, some history He's lessons. the propaganda minister for the, for the Nazis. <laughs> so he, he, was a pro, he, was, he was one of Hitler's main guys. Usually a lot of people want to marry him. <laughs> or, but, so, and then, so Hitler, Goebbels, or Anne Frank, fuck, marry, kill, go. Uh... Let's kill Anne Frank. <laughs> <laughs> the leg extension yeah. was everything on Cause that. Cause that's the fuck. Yeah, that's that's the only the that's his ex- only workout of the day. <laughs> that's his that's his one crunch he does. Yeah. For the- Cause I watched a watch a person. I can't. I watched a w- person come out of my wife's vagina. I know. It's a pretty wild experience. Do you do you recommend me looking both of you yes. or do you recommend me looking away don't because some people are like no you should you should look. just have the sheet and let the, no, the look. happen I, lo- I looked at I, it was fine I mean I didn't you know you, wh- don't, you don't have the perspective where you see it you're whole, you're up by her yeah so you're it, you just see the head see, coming out you the, see like, the through the other out, side and but a, you you weren't like looking like no, no, okay no no no, no. You want to be by her. I was fucking fingering her. her while the baby was coming yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> I was fingering her asshole. I knew that we couldn't have sex for another like six weeks after the pregnancy, yeah. so I want so to get one more in. I was fucking her in the ass while the baby was coming out. <laughs> Come on. Chris, be honest, dude. Chris, there's probably a 25 to 50% chance that you texted at some point during that pregnancy. During that pregnancy. I may have texted. I may, yeah, I may have been on Instagram Did live. You do an IG live. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's honestly one of the most, Giannis just experienced it, the, one of the most beautiful thing uh moments of your life but i would yeah i think i think in the moment well you'll see we'll see if she's gonna go natural she's gonna go c-section we don't know right you'll know you'll know when it gets closer yeah i mean dude what women go through yes i mean it you hear about it um but like when you experience it and you watch what a woman does to bring a person into they are superior i mean it there's just what it is my respect for women like it's like 10 times it's just like you're in awe it's yeah. a crazy the sacrifice they make yeah to bring people into the world and what they have to go through the pain and yeah he actually t- he told me he crazy. said there's respect for women now now because i actually see them as people now sees these people since his Which wife now ever thing. since his wife gave birth he told me now if she puts a little extra garlic in the sauce she doesn't get thrown down the stairs anymore she just gets slapped around a little bit yeah. but at least she won't get thrown down the stairs no, I which is to nice actually, yeah i used to kick her down the stairs way jong jan um, did you ever ride her like a sled down the stairs no i would just push her you know and just watch her tumble down right and, right right and then i would say you deserve that and she would and, and then she would reply thank you yeah, way jong jan but now i just um i'll just smack her now way jong jan yeah. this is a, this is uh, this is this is getting dark after you see well that's the thing <laughs> after you see after you see how beautiful a, a baby is you know how beautiful it came out i'm joking by the you're way you're joking and now we it's like you know go out. to the voting booths and vote for the fucking people that want to kill your babies way jong jan those are called democrats 
Yeah, I mean, this is our third podcast. We're fucking on fumes. Jeremiah. Jeremiah's been sitting half naked. He came in with the character. <laughs> I've been just trying to there. pull things together. I, I flew into New York City. I've been sitting in that corner for three days. Yeah, you so, know what the fun thing about Jeremiah is, though? You just, Jeremiah just goes. He just goes, dude. Uh, when I, I love doing his podcast because it's just like, Whatever he goes, we just go. He didn't think that we didn't think that we were ever going to come back to regular people. Yeah. So there was no plan B. He just now has to sit there without a shirt on and suspenders. It's just what it is. And be Jeremiah. And it's okay for a little late for guys be fucked. They don't have as many listeners as us anymore because they went behind the paywall. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's a little late, big whoop. No, they know? probably do. They have great uh, listeners. No, Shout out Christina it. Hutchinson. Yeah. Great guest on the show. Shout out Corinne Fisher. Obviously, great. It hasn't been on the show, but fucking will be someday. Yeah, and check and them fantastic. out. Check out their specials. I'm sure they got our they specials. They got everything, dude. Yeah. Christina and Corinne fucking crushing it. Jeremiah's going to go there next. Jeremiah's on a fucking New York tour. He's on a fucking tour. So who are you doing? Guys, tour. we fucked, and who else are you doing? Uh, Legion of Skanks tonight. Just did Real Ass Podcast this morning. Bonfire a little bit later tonight. Uh, wow, you got Dan a day. Soda. Yeah, I got a day. And who? So who are you going to vote for? <laughs> did you vote already? <laughs> I already voted. <laughs> You vote uh, early voting. You mailed. It I did in. a mail. I well, we got the mail uh, in form, and then we dropped it off like uh, for mail. Yeah, right, 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 right. Do you mind Silly. if we play a little game where me and Chris ask you questions and we try to guess who you voted for? Okay, okay, okay. Go, you um, go first. You go first, Yanni, because you're better at the political questions. Okay, uh, a woman, uh, 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 a woman who's 26. You know, she uh, she gets pregnant from a guy after a Tinder date, and whoopsie, she forgot her plan B. Mm-hmm. And uh, the guy's a fucking asshole to her the next day. And, like, she needs to go to Ibiza that summer. And she just doesn't want to miss her summer in Ibiza. Um, should she have that kid? Or should she party in Ibiza? <laughs> Good question. Good question. It's a little close to home because Vanity was just in Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so what? Which way do you go, yeah, Jeremiah? Which way do you go? I'm questions? not asking you who you vote for. I, right, I know right. that's too personal. I, I'm no. I'm not going to ask you who you vote for. Which side? I'm just wanted to ask you that question. Uh, maybe, maybe look at your options to Ibiza and see where would that trip will take you. Uh huh. I, st- go. I still can't make a read on it. You can't have make a question. Read. I have a question. So obviously, there's a deadly pandemic ripping through the world. Um. COVID-19, it's originated in uh, Wuhan. Most people leave at the wet markets. Would you refer to that disease as COVID-19 or the China cough? <laughs> or Kung Flu. Or Kung Flu or the Wuhan Weezer. What would you, what would you call it? Uh, I would call it, hmm, COVID flu. COVID flu. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's, we're on because. We're getting uh, closer. Because Jeremiah's a hard one to get because the kids from fucking Kansas, Missouri, are, they go either way. You don't know. He's a Midwestern kid. You don't know. We may have to do a tiebreaker question. Let's do a tiebreaker question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kavanaugh. <laughs> Justice of the peace. Kavanaugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, will you remember where you were when Ruth Bader Ginsburg died? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think it's safe That's to say off Jeremiah's answers. He votes for Trump. <laughs> Go get his special. I, I start the sentence. You finish it. Lock her up. Oh, d- dang it. Yes. <laughs> we got dang it. Dang it. All right. Jeremiah, where can people find you? Special, please tell everybody. <laughs> what a great way to plug right after all of that. <laughs> if you like that mess of a bit we just did. <laughs> you liked me doing a, a yeah, stereotypical that was, accent. That was all jokes. We have all no jokes. idea so how Jeremiah have... votes. You have, We don't vote. I don't know. He, who knows if I even voted? We don't exactly. even know. Yeah. Well, we you know. said, well, we know because you said you did. Oh, no, you And you me. won't lie, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> Kansas true. creep. That's true. The Kansas creep is back on history. <laughs> <Yeah. I need laughs> a- <laughs> the Kansas creep returns. 
Jeremiah stand up on uh, social media where you can find comedy, some music, and uh, my one hour special you can pre order on my website, jeremiahwatkins.com, or uh, December 8th it comes out. You can rent it on Amazon Prime and all video on demand platforms. Hell yes. yeah, dude. Jeremiah Wonders, which you guys have both been guests on and phenomenal on. Dude, do you have a Patreon, a- Jeremiah? I do not. Okay. Such a fun podcast, Jeremiah Wonders. Go check out our episode on there. Uh, go get that fucking special. Oh, I got, I got you guys. I brought you some sax hats and some uh, and the album. Let's see it. Let's go get. And they can get this at your website. Uh, yes. And then I got you guys some of those sax hats right there. That's my mom. Brought her on stage. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is the, but this is this is the album that will be out on December eighth. Yeah. The special, I meant to say. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Boom, Jeremiah. Do you mind if I take us out? Take out. Take us out. Do you mind if I take us out? Jeremiah, you want to help me? Well, yeah. just say just before, just patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Go follow us, historyhainas.com, christycomedy.com. Tickets uh, on sale in all these different cities, Giannis Papas comedy.com. Uh, he's got, we, we got shows coming up. Yeah, and uh, I'll just take us out. Um, and I, I need you. I need you in everything I do. I, I, I love need you. you. I'm nothing without you. you. <laughs> Agate. You are gay. Since the moment we locked eyes, I knew that you like guys. You fuck men. You long for the warm embrace, the jizz across your face. Fuck you, bro And fuck God he put you here Holy shit, you queer And I don't know Why you put out this video And I I hate you And everything you do And I Please kill yourself, my dude.